Two efforts in the state legislature, one in the state Senate, the other in the House. Those bills are being put together as more facilities choose to pause IVF treatment. Alabama fertility specialist says they made the decision after the state Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos are children. Leaders at the facility say they are contacting patients who will be impacted. A clinic in Mobile is also pausing treatments. And our Josh Gant joins us now after taking a closer look, Josh, at this new legislation that could affect the state's Supreme Court's ruling. Yeah, Brittany, Steve, this plan, a Senate bill would exclude frozen IVF embryos, those that have not been implanted yet in the uterus, from this ruling's impact. Senator Tim Melson, who is a doctor, says he started working on this bill after speaking with women who lost access to IFB treatments following the state court ruling. Melson says a woman can have multiple embryos during the IVF process that are frozen, but once they are no longer used for them, they are destroyed. He feels there shouldn't be any punishments for that. She doesn't need to be charged with abandonment or, or, or manslaughter or, or anything because she decides not to use them. The clinics that I've talked to like this uh, bill that I'm going to drop and they think it'll, it'll be an answer for their, their problems and their future concerns. At last checked it, Senate bill hasn't been filed yet. Over in the House, a bill would essentially undo the court's ruling by defining human being. We will, of course, keep you updated on their progress. Brittany.